Hi. Our next uh, program will be to extract all the, the M text in this drawing. If we list uh, some of this drawing here, they are all M text. There are quite a few of them. However, there there are also M text in the in the paper space model like this one here. So what we are going to do is just extract whatever is in the model space all the m text in the model space okay so let's revisit our project i have here added the button called extract m text so let's see what's in this uh, code we have the same uh, the same code block from the the first the program that we've created for the line they are all the same the same process so we also need to once we reference the Excel object we can just keep uh, using it okay so the only change here is that the name the worksheet name instead of lines we change it to M text and then the header the headers are the layer, the x of the insertion point, the y of the, the insertion point, and the fourth column will be the actual text string, and the fifth column is the height, the text height. <coughs> okay, so now let's code the, the part in the AutoCAD section. So we need to declare a variable called mpx as m text. We also need to declare a counter to look through the m text uh, collections. And we are going to initialize that to 2 because we are going to start populating the spreadsheet at the second row. Now we need to create the filter filter type. This time we're going to add one more uh, filter criteria. So this will be integer filter data also one as variant. So filter type zero equals zero that is for the object type and a filter type one equals a four ten that is the the dxf code for the model space and then the filter data zero equals M text. Oops. Filter data one would be the model. Okay. And now we are going to gather all the M text and store in the selection set. So let's declare a selection set again as a CAD selection set. And in here we can just copy over this code to basically delete whatever is in the selection set collection. Set SS equals this drawing the selection sets that add let's call that M text then we can select now using the select statement selection set all we don't need the point but we have the filter type and the filter data And now we can look through the 
selection set and process each uh, M text. So we need a for each statement for each MTX in selection set. We are now going to format the the information. So worksheet that range we have A and uh, C int of I MTX that value equals layer. That's the first column. Copy that. This one will be B, second column. That would be the CS convert to string insertion point, the X insertion point. This one will be the third column, C, which is the Y coordinate of the insertion point. Next, that this would be D for the fourth column and this is the text string. Next, for the fifth column, that should, would be E, that should be the text height or the height. Okay, and of course we don't forget to increment the counter to go to the next line. All right, so this is just about it for the text for the M text. Save the code, give it a try. Nice. So these are all our M text with the lay they are all under layer text. This is our insertion point X and the insertion point Y and this is our text string. They all have the same height of nine. We have here the label for the Excel. Alright. Okay, so give it a try. And I'll see you in the next video.